the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke. And Jesus told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. He said in a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor regarded men. And there was a widow in that city who kept coming to him and saying, Vindicate me against my adversary. For a while he refused, but afterward he said to himself, Though I neither fear God nor regard men, yet because this widow, widow bothers me, I will vindicate her, or she will wear me out by her continual coming. And the Lord said, Hear what the righteous judge says, and will not God vindicate his elect who cry out to him day and night? Will he delay long over them? I tell you, he will vindicate them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? He also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other the tax, a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even lift his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to, the, to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but he who humbles himself will be exalted. Why isn't God answering your prayers? I don't know. But the first parable that we have in the gospel today is about that. And he's, Luke uh, titles it to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. But the whole gospel passage that the church is asking us to read today uh, is connecting two types of prayer. There's prayer of petition, where you ask God for things. And there's prayers of thanksgiving, or praise, where you don't really have anything to ask God, you just want to talk to him and thank him for what he's done. And the second one, the prayers of praise and thanksgiving, are the real more fundamental type of prayer. Prayer is a relationship with God. And it's the second one that establishes what kind of relationship we have. So if we hear just the first parable, it might be discouraging. The first parable, oh, the widow is praying and asking and asking the judge over and over and over again. And finally, he gives her what she wants. And Jesus says, God is not like this judge. God gives us what we ask for quickly. And so we might hear this uh, parable and say, gosh, I'm just like this widow. And I keep praying for the same thing over and over and over again. Why isn't God hearing me? And it's really interesting because it takes a lot for us to question our view of ourselves. Maybe we're not the widow. Maybe we're not the innocent ones. And I think the reason why these two parables are next to each other is because this second parable is about you and not being the good guy. And if you think you're the good guy, if you come to church and you just assume, or if you pray to God and you just assume you are righteous and you are innocent, and everybody else is the bad guy, because remember, the widow was praying to be vindicated from her ad adversary. The second parable really explains the first. You're not the widow. You are the adversary. You're the bad guy. Or maybe you're the judge that's being stubborn and refusing to do the right thing. But Jesus is really kind of strong on this we should never consider ourselves innocent. The Pharisee went and it says he prayed with himself in this way. Oh God, I thank you that I'm not like everybody else. Everyone else is the bad guy, but I'm the good guy. Thank you for making me the good guy. But Jesus says he prayed 
with himself this way. When, when an atheist says, you who, people who believe in God and you're praying, you're just talking to yourself. Sometimes they're right. When we're not talking to God as God, and when we're not talking to God as we being sinners who need his mercy, if we just go and just assume our righteousness and just tell God what we want, all right, God, here's what I want. One, two, three, four, five. All right, you have a couple of days to get on this. You're talking to yourself if that's how you're praying. Because that's not how you talk to God. The way you talk to God is the way that the tax collector at the end of the gospel, he, he couldn't even lift his eyes to heaven, but he beat his breast saying, God have mercy on me, a sinner. Brothers and sisters, our relationship with, our, our prayer life is fundamentally a relationship with God. That fundamentally means we have to understand who we are and who God is. And when we understand those two things, we'll understand what we really need. And when we as sinners ask God who is merciful and loving simply to have mercy on us. That is a prayer he does not delay in answering. 